Hey, Dima. Wait. Your friend there. I'd like to speak to him. Yeah, I got a few words I want to say myself. Starting with, who the hell are you? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own, and I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Is this a joke? Do you really know, Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Is it really possible that you wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this hole? There's only so much room of their argument. I don't know. It's not like we've got the instruction manual. Nick, is he really your brother? If he is, it's news to me. Can synths even be related? Just because we're from the same assembly line, does that make us family? I gotta think about this. We'll talk later. This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Dima? Feel free to say whatever is on your mind. I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub and the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to... remember for myself. So... I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The nucleus has innocent people living there among the zealots threatening Far Harbor. Is the nucleus... Even worth saving? Don't judge them by what Confessor Tectus has done. He's used their fears and hatred to turn them into a weapon against Far Harbor. But there's still time to turn them away from that. I'll make sure no one else gets their hands on that key. Thank you. Was there anything else in my memories? 
some way we can work towards peace? One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here on this holiday. Let me see this. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. Mass murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Why save them? Don't the children have reasons for hating Far Harbor? When the fog got worse, the people of Far Harbor killed a child of Adam missionary. There's been nothing but hatred and bloodshed since. But murder is not the solution. Relax. Don't worry, Dima. I already have the code. Our harbor is safe. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? I should get going. Of course. Go ahead. Hey, Valentine. What? Oh, sorry. Just got my head full of what Dima was talking about. It's a bit of a shock. What do you think he is, really? Family? Before I answer. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll keep. Don't worry. Just need to figure this all out. Honestly, I don't know what to think, Nick. Yeah. Guess that makes two of us. I spent a long time wondering if the Institute had made any other prototypes. If I was just a failure, or they gave up, or just plain got bored. I always thought I was just more of their discarded trash. Never thought of the possibility that someone wanted me out. Helped me escape. There's gotta be some kind of proof out there. What really happened between me and Dima? I'd appreciate it if we could keep an eye out. What kind of proof would we be looking for? I don't know. But our best bet is to keep looking into Dima and Acadia. Actually, I think I already found something inside of Dima's memories. Take a listen. All right. Let me run this real quick. God. Dima really did help me escape the Institute? I wasn't just tossed out with the garbage. I must have still been in a haze from one of the Institute's experiments on me. Did I really attack him? Did he really knock the daylights out of me and leave me for dead? Damn it. Why can't I remember? Ooh, this is how it starts, Nick. Next you'll be forgetting your keys and thinking I'm your great aunt from Southie. <laughs> yeah, you always know just what to say. Well, I wanted proof Dima and I had history, and I got it. Now I just gotta figure out what to do. Should I give him a chance? Try to accept him as my brother? He might just be the only other prototype synth that exists. I guess the question is, what do you want, Nick? Do you want a brother in your life? If I did, would I want Dima to be that brother? I guess no one gets to choose their family, but when your family is built in a lab, you know, things get uh, weird. I think you already know the answer, Nick. You don't need me to tell you. Huh. 
Maybe next time we swing by Acadia, I'll try to be a little nicer to the old synth. Make up for lost time. Thanks, by the way. I wouldn't know the truth without you. Hey, Dima. We must find some way to bring peace to the children of Adam and Far Harbor. I should get going. Of course. <laughs>